What is a byte? If you have ever bought a flash drive or needed to send files by email, then you've probably had a conversation that used the word byte in it. But what is a byte? They are the building blocks of all digital information, tiniest unit that computers use to store data. A bit or a binary digit is a naught or a one. Each bit is like a tiny switch that can be either on or off, representing ones and noughts respectively. And this is how computers understand data. Now a byte is a group of eight of these bits. We use bytes to measure digital file sizes, memory capabilities, and data transfer rates. If you understand the metric system of distance, you will know that we measure distances in meters. But if you have a thousand meters, then you can simply say that it is one kilometer. So 3,700 meters is considered to be 3.7 kilometers. The same concept is used with bytes. So technically, and I'm using the word technically here because I will show you later the actual way. So technically, if we use the decimal number system, we get the following. If I have a thousand bytes, then we call that a kilobyte, represented as a KB. Note the B is in capitals because if it was a small B, then it would mean kilobits and not kilobytes. And so if you have a thousand kilobytes, then you have one megabyte. And if you have a thousand megabytes, then you've got a gigabyte. And a thousand gigabytes is equal to one terabyte. Well, a lot of people know about these, but what happens if we get even more bytes? A thousand terabytes is actually called a petabyte. And a thousand petabytes is equal to an exabyte. And a thousand exabytes is equal to a zettabyte. And a thousand zettabytes is equal to a yottabyte. Now, after these numbers, we get things like brontabytes and ronabytes and quetabytes. But hopefully you won't need one zettabyte or a yottabyte hard drive anytime soon. But you never know, maybe in the future. So let's take this one terabyte hard drive and try to see how many bytes is in one terabyte. Well, it has about a thousand gigabytes in it, or one million megabytes, or one billion kilobytes, or one trillion actual bytes. That's why you can store so much information on it. But Mr. Long, I read somewhere that one kilobyte is actually 1024 bytes. Well, technically that is correct as well. Computers typically use a binary number system or base 2 number system for calculations. Us humans tend to use a decimal system, which is a base 10 number system. So our numbers increase from units or ones to tens to hundreds to thousands and so on. But a binary system doesn't. It starts with a 1 and then a 2 and then a 4 and then an 8, basically doubling each time. And are you recognizing these numbers? They are common numbers used in computer settings, like an 8 gig flash drive, or 16 gigs of RAM, or a 32 bit system. All these numbers are used because of the binary or base 2 number system that computers prefer. So let's keep going. We then go to 64, 128, 256, and if we keep going, we get to 512, and then 1024. And there you have the value that is closest to 1000, which is actually 1024. So if we take this flash drive, for example, you can see that the capacity is not exactly 8 billion bytes, but actually 8036253696 bytes. If we keep dividing this by 1000 to convert to kilobytes, megabytes, and gigabytes, we would get to 8.04, rounded off, gigabytes. But here it says it's actually 7.48 gigabytes. So let's take the actual number of bytes and let's divide it by 1024 which is now going to equal to 7847904 kilobytes. Now, if we divide that number by another 1024, then we're going to get 7,663 megabytes with some extra decimals. And then if we divide that by another 1024, we're going to get 7.48 gigabytes, which is where this number comes from. Some people today still prefer to use one kilobyte as 1024 bytes. So to avoid further confusion, we now have a new term called a kibibyte. When referring to kibibytes, we are actually referring to the number of bytes divided by 1024, basically using the binary base 2 number system. And if we refer to a kilobyte, we are referring to the number of bytes divided by 1000, or the decimal base 10 number system. Although the decimal system is not 100% accurate, it's easier for the everyday person to understand and try estimate how many bytes roundabout are in a kilobyte or megabyte. So we basically use it informally. To know the difference, we use a KIB as the unit for a kibibyte, and there are similar versions for the other options like a mebibyte or MIB, or a gibibyte or GIB or a terabyte, TIB, and so on. Using either kilobytes or kibibytes will get you to a reasonable answer, but kibibytes is technically more correct. Now in programming languages, a byte can refer to a data type, normally a type of integer. 
For example, in Delphi or C Sharp, if you declare a variable as a type byte, it means it can store any number between 0 and 255 which makes sense as it is called this because it only uses one byte to store this value and a byte is 8 bits and the smallest possible number with 8 bits is 8 zeros which equals to 0 and the biggest possible number is 8 ones which is equal to 255. Other programming languages like Java use the first bit to indicate if the number is positive or negative and then that leaves them with seven leftover bits to represent the actual number. So in Java, a byte can store any number between a negative 128 and a positive 127. We use bytes in programming languages to store small numbers like your grade or a mark or a teacher's salary instead of bigger integer types that require more bytes. Why use up more space than we need to? And you can do something similar in an access database by making the format of the number field to a byte. This field then allows a value from 0 to 225 and also helps reduce the size of the database while only storing one byte of information when necessary. But before you go, let me ask you one last question. We all now know that a byte is 8 bits, but do you know the computer term for just 4 bits or half a byte? The computer term for 4 bits is actually a nibble because it's a little byte, not a full one. Get it? And no, that is not a Mr. Long joke. That is an actual thing. I guess the people that name the nibble have the same sense of humor that I have. It must be a computer person thing. Well, I hope you have more than a byte size of understanding about what bytes are, and yes, to having endless amounts of them for all your storage needs. For more computer terms and silly jokes, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel at Mr. Long Computer Terms. And for computer literacy and programming, go to our channel at Mr. Long RT and Cat. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do the Mr. Long Way.